Okay, we're here with uh, Satch or Satchin's Zelda and Topological Space, aka Tops, aka Scott, Top Scott, uh, is Fox. So these players are right around. So we've got a really solid top, like six. Yeah, t really solid top six. And then it gets a little muddy after that. And like Austin, uh, Tops, and Sachin are like really close. They keep switching who's like seventh best, eighth, and ninth. Um, Sachin, they're all spaces. Sachin and Tops play Fox. Austin plays. Uh, Falco, but recently Sachin has been pulling out the Zelda. It's, you know, in friendlies you bust out a low tier hero, secondary, you start going your Zelda, and you realize it's actually doing pretty well, and you're like, oh, maybe it's magic experience. But his, Ze his Zelda is actually legitimately really good. It upset a bunch of people. Uh, On his way to this match, he actually tortured Jordan, Fox, and Mark. Yeah, and it was, he beat Rohan, who's above him, uh, with Zelda before. It's, so it's, you're, before you were asking if I played a Zelda, yes, and I destroyed it. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not that good. But no, it is pretty good. Uh, I think he did one thing. Have you guys played this matchup before? Not in tournament. Not in tournament? Okay, don't listen. Okay. I, I thought Tops had already played a Zelda in tournament, but they actually didn't meet that bracket. Tops is generally pretty... I think he's strong against floaties. He thinks he isn't. But I think, like, I think Tops is favored here. Obviously, I, I obviously. Asked Tops about this matchup earlier, and he said he, he actually has he has beaten his Zelda before. Yeah, like, it's pretty consistently. Yeah. 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 So it's interesting that you would be a. Uh, they're pretty evenly matched, but I feel like recently, like Satchin's Fox does well. But I feel like his Zelda's been doing even better. I, I think honestly, a bunch of people at that level just like their spacing isn't the best. Um, and Zelda just. That's, that's what, yeah, that's yeah. That's how Satch gets a lot of his hits. He just spaces bears. I know uh, certain Falco players were complaining that they're like, oh, you can't do anything as in Zelda. You go in and you just, she hits you twice with forward air and you're dead. Yeah. There's nothing you can do and then you don't recover. It's really like, just saw really like Zelda. Zelda in Zelda and neutral and kill her. So. Yeah, so Zelda, Seth and Zelda is good, but Zelda is a low tier for a reason. Um, Zelda's forward air is amazing. Zelda's back air is amazing. Her down smash is pretty good. It comes out really quick. He hit two, he did, he hit two attacks and he died. Yeah, so... Zelda is good, forward air, back air, and down, down air. Or down smash. Yeah, not down air, down, down is terrible. Everything else is terrible about her. Um, her recovery is questionable. It is good distance, but it's slow and predictable. Uh, her neutral game is trash. Her aerial drift is pretty bad. Her grab is like, surprisingly bad. It's like you would think it's just bad, but it's, it, it's even worse than you would imagine. You, yeah, there's so many times I've been right next to Zelda. I've seen her start my like start her grab. And then you see another guy grab her instead. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, but yeah, Satchin Zelda is doing really well here. I think Oh wow. So yeah, I've been telling Satchin that he should legitimately become a Fox Zelda into, dual main. And it's that weekend backer into a strong. Yeah, that's backer, he you know, Satchin Zelda is really good. It catches a lot of people off guard. Um because the main thing is, in neutral, you can run all around Zelda, you can mess her up, there's not much you can do but space forward air and back air. But a lot of people either... they'll overcommit, they'll do unsafe shield pressure, they'll misjudge their distance, they'll get baited by drift, and just two or three lightning kicks is enough to put people in a really bad position. Three or four will just end their stock, pretty much. Uh, I think the main trick, uh, when a lot of people go up against Zelda for the first time, they see this lightning kick outspacing them and wrecking them, and they get really scared. And they're like, "Oh, I want to space outside of that." That was a really good call out uh, yeah. on the approach. They're like, "Oh, I want to outspace this lightning kick," and so they try to zone her out. They try to. Uh, they're like, like "Oh, laser, I'm, yeah." So they're like, "I'm going to space better than this," and that's exactly what Zelda wants. She wants more neutral exchanges where she can try to lightning kick people. What you really want to do is Zelda's close quarters is terrible. She has. No out of shield options. Her grab is trash. Her down smash is fast, but like not reliable in close quarters. Really, her crouch cancel isn't that strong. Um, that's a really bad position for Satchin to be in. Um, wow, forward smash. So, if if you want to jump right on her, and you can do whatever you want. So if you just like charge right in. Obviously, you don't go straight in because then she calls you up. You when you go in, you want to go in all the way. You want to stick over her, like as close as possible. Yeah, because. If you take a bunch of neutral exchanges against her, that's more and more chance for her. That's gonna wrap it up. Yeah.
So it looks like Story was a double-edged sword there. Uh, the, they struck there. Uh, oh, who, who had the second? I forget. I don't know who had the second. Oh, who, who, who picked you guys to story? Sachin did. Yeah, between story and dreamland. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Oh, so, or I, I think that makes sense over dreamland because so dreamland Zelda's gonna live longer, but dreamland Fox. Also kills so, more. But the main thing is Fox can just run away and play you forever on dreamland. Uh, Tops. Like when he plays the puff matchup, he can, yeah, he he will he will definitely run away and laser if he needs to against a floaty. And this isn't like oh he's so lame he can't see shoes. It's like part of the reason characters like Zelda are low tier aren't because like oh if you like go in and like beat it them up with them and like slug it out like you'll just destroy them and it's a free matchup. No, most of them are low tiers because like they're worse for all these reasons. But also if you choose to camp a lot of low tiers, they have no option for it. Um, so I think keeping it kind of small stage is nice. I don't know if stories your best bet. Like, I, th I think a fountain would be really good fountain, here. Yeah. Maybe, uh, fountain, maybe fountain was no, the ban. Tops always bans fountain. He hates that stage. Yeah, I feel like battlefield might actually be good. Although that makes, uh, so that makes Zelda's recovery kind of weird. Yeah, it makes it worse. Because you can't, it's hard but to, it, like, ride but up with that. But it limits the spaces options, too. Yeah. Anyways, Tops is all over Satch in this game. Yeah, he doesn't have very much space to laser, but it seems like he's making good use of neutral, and when he goes in... Oh! Actually landing a grab with Zelda. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's actually a pretty scary place to be, shielding near Zelda. Because if you're not right on top of her and have, like, out of shield as an option or something, a lot of people will be shielding next to her and they'll be like, Aha, I'm a high tier. Jump out of shield and, like, jump into her and do something, and you just get fade away her like that. Um... You... You, you need to respect her space a lot, especially, like, imagine, uh, okay, he lands on top of Yeah, we were talking about how bad her out of shield options are, but she yeah. still has fair and fair out of shield. Yeah, you need to, you need to respect her, like, imagine Marth Tipper range, respect that more than other characters, and respect everything else a lot less. Yeah, um, I'd love to bring you out with the Marth comparison as well. Except, except Marth, except Marth is good because he's fast, he has a good dash dance, he has better aerial drift, oh. Yeah, and he combos better. There are a lot of reasons Marth is better. Um, but yeah, that was... A lot of people get caught off guard. Oh, is that gonna be game? Yeah, it's so hard for Zelda to come down. Her dare is terrible. Um, oh, this could be... Yep, oh, that was good DI, though. Last last stock, he had really bad DI and just lost stock. There. The DI makes such a big difference. A lot of people aren't ready. And while trying to space around that distance, they'll be doing a dash dance and they'll like tap away right as they get hit, and their stack just evaporates like 70%. Oh. Yeah, top splits away pretty easily. Uh, he's pretty comfortable with the floaty matchups and more mid tier stuff, so I expected that. But Satch and Zelda put up a good fight. Especially game one was last stock, right? Was it? Yeah. Satch is pretty hard to upset. Even when, like, Lyle was, like, Yeah, he had some bad upsets at the beginning of the year, but I feel like recently he's been really solid and consistent. Yeah. Like, Patrick, what are you saying? Patrick, what are you saying? Yeah. So Patrick giving the good advice that, wow, we're just, like, dishing out how to beat Zelda. This isn't fair. <laughs> this is, this is, Zelda's a low tier. She, she, toughness. But, or, well, something that Patrick was just telling him is Zelda, like, can't really sweet spot her up B. Uh, so instead of grabbing ledge to edge guard her, if you stay on stage, when she comes up, you retain pretty much all your options. You've got shine, you've got up smash. You're Fox. You've got back here. Landing lag after her up B is pretty bad, too. Whether she lands on stage or the platform, you have plenty of time to react as Fox. Yeah. So yeah, I feel kind of bad for being like, oh yeah, here's how you beat up Zelda, Fox Privilege, but it's like, I feel like more people here will be worried about like, oh, I play a space scene, I randomly run into Zelda, what do I do? Then like, I'm an aspiring Zelda main. So I, yeah, I, I hope Satch and Zelda goes far, does well. Hey, Patrick. Not much, we were just talking about Zelda. What do you think of it? Uh, what, so I've, I've said that I like Satch and Zelda, what do you think of it? It, I mean, it has good spacing, but it doesn't know, like, Zelda-specific stuff. Mm -hmm. I think I would recommend that he watches some actual Zelda mains to learn what oh, they do in a Fox matchup. What are it, Zelda mains? The leg. The leg. There are three of us doing commentary. Uh, 
Watch it's it's free. Watch still Cosmo. Recording, though, like, um, Cosmo, he hasn't played in a while. He's not a, he's not Cosmo anymore. So for example, like up smash out of shield is good. Or like yeah. The thing is smash too. Well, it's like one of her better options, so when like Fox and Nairing her shield, that just actually be fast, yeah. 